this part of this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to uh, change the boot script file inside your boot directory on your SD card so that you can have the second state boot from your USB drive. Okay, so how did I learn how to do this? Well, there's a website with a uh, very good instruction on the omappdi.org uh, and they actually show you step by step how to change the root argument from, from what, whatever it was to the new uh, argument. This is the uh, Ubuntu one or the new label that we changed earlier in the uh, USB flash drive. But here is what you need to do. You need to uh, change. Okay, I assume that you're running on your panda board and you have already installed the file system on the SD card. So you need to change directory to your boot. Okay. And once you change on your uh, your directory to boot, you can uh, search for the file boot.script and open up using the vi uh, editor using sudo like this and once you open it up you should have something that looks like this and initially it, the root argument is uh, uuid and then has a bunch of numbers and letters here but you need to change all of this into what it looks like right here label and then the, the name of the label on your USB flash drive which is Ubuntu 1 so label change the label to Ubuntu 1 okay now save exit and save your uh, the file from the, the, using the VI editor Okay, the next part you need to do is uh, you need to flash your kernel, reflash your kernel again. So using the sudo flash kernel command, press enter, and that should flash your uh, your boot file on the SD card. So it knows where to look for the uh, root FS file system next to it, which is the USB flash drive. Okay. So. After you've done that, you can turn off your panda board and unplug the SD card and plug the SD card and the USB flash drive uh, uh, to the your laptop. The next thing you need to do is copy the files from your SD uh, SD card, the rootfs from the SD card, copy it to the USB flash drive. So I have plugged my SD card to and USB flash drive to my computer. So I'll go to my CD media, and that's what I have. So Ubuntu 1 is the label name on my USB flash drive. SDFSS is the label name for my uh, file system of my SD card. All right. So the next thing you need to do is use the copy command, sudo cp mine, and then using the, uh, the, uh, the option av. So a, uh, a is uh, one of the things that you need to preserve all the uh, hierarchy or whatnot, and then verbal, so to show you uh, what's copying uh, output onto the terminal. And the next thing you do is SD, that's from your SD card, and you do the wildcard, and then target is your Ubuntu one, and that is your file uh, on the, uh, Direct, that's the directory on the USB flash drive and press enter and that should uh, copy everything to that directory on the USB flash drive so I'm going to do just to show you guys and that will take about 10 minutes to uh, complete and depending on how fast your USB and SD card read and write speed, but mine took it took 15 minutes to finish. So one, once it's finished copying the files, now your system is ready to go. Uh, you can uh, un unmount the SD card and flash drive and plug it back to your panda board and boot up. And the the first thing 
uh, your Pandora will look for is the boot still from the SD card. And the second thing is it will look for the root FS. That's the file system. And that will be on your USB flash drive now. And that is how you boot using uh, a second stage boot uh, uh, file system. Okay, thanks for watching this.